Year after year, the Redbud Ride welcomes beginner, intermediate, and experienced cyclists. I'm looking forward to seeing the countryside and just riding on these beautiful roads. Kim Price arrived Friday with seven of her friends. Well, it's good for me. It feels good, and I can look around while I'm riding. It's, the, it's just the perfect combination. These bikers say weather happens, but they won't let that get in the way of exploring. Oh yeah, no, it's great to have a, all these bikers together. I really like to see good organizations like this, um, where they have it all organized and, and SAG supported and everything, so you don't have to worry so much about what you have to pack. Riders visit from every corner of the United States. We have them here from California, Idaho, South Dakota, New York. They're, they're from everywhere. Rodney Hendrickson says that is what makes Laurel County the cycling capital of Kentucky. My wife and I, we ride in New England, Michigan, Canada. All cyclists have heard of the Red Bud Ride. At 914, this year was the largest for online registration. And this group has five routes to choose from. So you can go from 24 miles to 100 miles. So um, the Red Bed Ride is actually the first part of the Kentucky Century Challenge. Molly Barnett says the ride is really a spotlight on their community. That's what we hear more than anything is our rest stops and how well they're treated, that they have a good time, so much hospitality shown. Attracting cyclists both near and far to eastern Kentucky.